Okay. So right now we are live. Uh, we're just going to wait for a few more minutes so that people can join. Okay. Okay, Shushma is there. Okay. Rajesh is there. Okay. Okay, Nilofar is there. Okay. Okay. So meanwhile, we can check about the audio and video quality so that uh, we can proceed for the class. Yes. So whatever the uh, recent events that's, that have been happened, so I'm just covering in this session. So definitely many more sessions on current affairs that is going to come, okay? So this one is going to be the first session on current affairs. Already I have made a session, I have done a session how we are going to cover this current affair and international relation. And apart from that, I have also developed a holistic approach, how we are going to cover each and everything. Okay. So just go and watch the previous session. If you are new to this session, how we can handle this current affair and international relation, every source, what are the important topics, what are the important things we need to cover, everything I've discussed. Okay. One more source I would like to talk about that in this session. When I was going through that, that is PIB, Press Information Bureau, PIB. Whatever the scheme that has been launched in your state as well as central schemes, okay? So these schemes, the most important information you are going to get from Press Information Bureau. So PIB is a very authentic site, you can follow that, okay? So in the sources of current affairs, please add this particular website also press information bureau very important site even i have seen mostly upsc civil services aspirants are also following this okay so for your updated knowledge you do not need to have a very high fi knowledge but definitely for covering of uh, these different different schemes pib is going to be a good option okay current affair so right now because things are going to come in a factual way Okay, everything is clear from my side, Rajesh is saying. Okay, Rajesh, thank you. So we have heard about this T13. So what is going to be the T13? So T13 is basically India's longest escape tunnel that has been made in Jammu Kashmir on Banihal Katra route that is 12.89 kilometer. India's longest escape tunnel, it's a escape tunnel. So recently T13 was in news, what exactly it was? It is basically India's longest escape tunnel, escape tunnel, okay, so T19. So once you are going to get the question about T19, T90 is basically a escape tunnel. Then after that, we are also hearing the news about this Agni-5 missile, because this is going to be the India's intercontinental ballistic missile. From one continent to other continent, India can just have a reach and it is having a capable of nuclear warhead. It can easily carry nuclear warhead. So that's why the main, you can say the main fear is associated with China because whole China is going to be covered with this Agni-5. So Agni-5 is going to be a nuclear capable, that is ballistic missile. But what the range is exactly? More than 5,000 kilometers. Exactly the range India has not yet disclosed. Okay, so it is having the capability of carrying the nuclear warfare okay nuclear warhead so here you can see india successfully carried out night trials of nuclear capable agni 5 missile the range is more than 5000 kilometer agni 5 more than 5000 kilometer ballistic missile second thing it's a nuclear capable missile right now because this whole missile is going to carry it is acting like a rocket it is going to carry your warhead the main thing is warhead Either it is conventional warhead, either it is nuclear capable. So India successfully conducted night trials of nuclear capable ballistic missile Agni-5. Agni-5 is a ballistic missile. Okay. Capable of striking targets at range up to 5000 km with high degree of accuracy and precision. Where mainly we are going to do the testing? We are going to do the testing at APJ Abdul Kalam Island of the Odisha coast. So Odisha coast, Abdul. Wheeler Deep. Okay, Wheeler Island, that is APJ Abdul Kalam Island, Odisha coast. Okay, so this was tested on that. Mainly our uh, testing range that is associated with this Odisha coast. Okay, if you talk about the missiles, 
or, or everything we are testing. So these two information are very important. T13 is basically India's longest skip tunnel that has been made in Jammu Kashmir. Second thing, India has just successfully carried out the dry trials for this nuclear capable ballistic missiles. It's a nuclear capable. Main important thing is that. Now we have seen this FIFA World Cup 2022 was in news. Very controversial, you can say. Lot of things have been happened. Uh, people were also thinking of boycotting this Qatar uh, FIFA World Cup. You can say one of the biggest event, cricket, like cricket World Cup, it is going to be very biggest event, you can say. Okay, so FIFA World Cup. See, each and every information we need to understand. So what we can do, we can just, we can check on website also, wait. FIFA World Cup 2022. What exactly information you need to cover? I'm just going to tell you. So have a patience. FIFA World Cup Qatar. Okay. So Wikipedia from Wikipedia also, you can say, okay, here important thing is going to be there. Okay, first information, FIFA World Cup, one of the biggest event inside the world, you can say, FIFA World Cup, it was in Qatar. So the bidding was won by Qatar. Okay, very important. How many teams have participated? Second information, 32. Okay, 32. Sometimes they are going to ask how many teams have participated in FIFA World Cup. So FIFA World Cup, 32 teams have important information. Who were going to be the champions? Argentina has defeated the France, you can say last moment okay argentina the important player is ronaldo or leon messi with argentina the important player is leon messi or ronaldo please chat uh, comment in the comment box is it ronaldo or leon messi both are best player one is from portugal one is from argentina okay third place croatia okay so first three who are the champion means what was the final that has been played between two teams france versus argentina okay so argentina was the winner and they have won the third title third time they have won this title fifa world cup okay so this is very important okay leon messi leon messi is from argentina and ronaldo is from right now ronaldo is from portugal among these two, one has, uh, I think, have a memorandum of understanding with one country, like a Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has just uh, given some money and they have hired this among these two persons. So Saudi Arabia has hired Ronaldo or Leon Messi. Could you please tell me? Right now, it was also in the news. Means they are, uh, they are uh, playing with the side of Saudi Arabia. They are giving training to Saudi Arabia. Surprise, Saudi Arabia. The team that has defeated Argentina, Leon Messi team, one of the best team in South the world, they have defeated. Okay. So you can see also top scorer, top scorer, eight goals. Best player, Leon Messi. Okay. Best goalkeeper, this particular person. So these things we need to take care of that. Okay. What, what extra things we need to uh, take care of that? Where it is going to be the next FIFA. Okay, next FIFA, when it is going to happen, okay, 2026, okay. And what was the previous one was? 2018. So 2026 FIFA is going to happen in which city? Could you please tell me? Here you can see, Canada, Mexico, United States, okay. And 2018, where it was happened? 2018, Russia. Okay, 2018, Russia and there, France was champion, 2018, right now, 2022. So these key information, you need to take care of that, okay? So I have just given the important information related to FIFA World Cup. See, what is, a lot of information is going to be there, but no need to worry about that, okay? Important information you have taken. Okay, now coming on the main point of discussion. So we have taken the information, okay? So final match was between France and Argentina. Wait. Like that. France and Argentina, the winner was going to be the Argentina. Third title. So you are preparing for drug inspector examination. But in civil services examination, they are going to ask the associated. Uh, 
this particular Argentina has won the third title. Like this type of statement they are uh, going to make and they are going to give the option all of the above, none of the above. These type of questions they are going to ask. Next question is, as we, we can say proudly that 18th G20 summit, India is going to preside. So India is going to preside the G20 summit in 2023. I think in September only. September 2023, India is going to host 18th G20 summit. Okay, so G20 summit, we need to take care of the G20 summit also. So just go and search. What are the things I'm doing? You need to also do some search also. G20 summit. G20 summit. Why I'm searching? Just go through that. Wikipedia, you need to understand. G20 summit. Okay. 20 powerful countries you can see. 20 powerful economies. India is one of going to be the important economy. Okay. So here, 2008, from 2008 onward, 2023, India, New Delhi. Okay. International Exhibition Convention Center. G20 next, 19 is Brazil. And previous one was in Indonesia. Okay. So you need to have to take care of that. 17th, that was in 2022. It was in Indonesia. Right now, 18th, that is in 2023, that is hosted by India. So you can imagine the power of, growing power of India, okay? You, you should have the proud of India in, in case of these issues, okay? So uh, 23, G20 summit is going to be by the India and 19th, upcoming, it is going by the Brazil. This much is important. This much is sufficient. 18th, 19th, 17th. Previous one was in Indonesia. Right now, 18th in 2023 in India and 19th, in, it is going to be in Brazil. This much information is sufficient. Okay. Now coming on this. So G20 summit presided by India. Everywhere. You are Sangam registration portal. Why it is going to be very important? Some portals are also going to be launched. Okay. So you are Sangam registration portal has been launched. So it is an initiative of PM Narendra Modi to build close ties between the youth of the Northeast region because sometimes it is in the turbulence. Right now, a lot of protest is going on in Ladakh. Sonam Wangchuk. Okay. The social worker you can say in Ladakh. So East region and rest of the India under the spirit of Ek Bharat Sreshth Bharat. Once you are going to be uh, selected as a civil services aspirant and your training will be in the Labasna. That is in Masuri. So you are going to do some visit under this Ek Bharat Sreshth Bharat. Okay. This particular scheme that has been launched by the this particular. So Yuva Sangam registration portal has been launched by the PM Modi to build a close ties between the youth of the Northeast region and rest of India. Because sometimes people from Northeast they feel uh, uh, some isolation from India also. Sometimes they feel that they are isolated from whole India. But that is not the actual scenario. Sometimes they are unsatisfied, but this is not going to be the actual scenario. A lot of development is going in Northeast also. Okay. Northeast. So under the initiative of over 20,000 youth will travel across the India and gain a unique opportunity for cross-cultural learning. They are going to learn each and every culture. Okay. So that is going to be the initiative. You are Sangam registration portal. Okay. Now coming on this news, Ganga Vilas cruise. This is totally in the news. Okay. This type of cruise. So one voyage, it is going to cost around 20 lakhs. Okay. So they are just passing through this Ganga river. So that is national waterway one. Okay. National waterway one. That is up to Haldia. So you need to aware that national water one, how many national waterways inside the India are going to be there. Okay. Which water is way is associated with South India? Is there any waterway that is passing in South India? So you need to take care of that also. Okay. So after this session, you need to search this information. So national waterway one, this uh, Ganga Vilas cruise has been launched. So once one, one voyage, it is going to cost around 20 lakhs per 
uh, visitor you can say okay mostly foreigners are coming so why it is in news the longest river cruise of the world ganga vilas is currently passing through the waters of bangladesh sundarban every every religious uh, uh, means you can uh, religious side they are covering okay from starting from the varanasi via bihar via bengal bihar jharkhand and bengal okay these things are going to be there the river cruise covering 3200 km through india and bangladesh is being held as a landmark even that will help in raising the potential of tourism okay tourism open up new ways of connecting the people and strengthening the historical ties friendship between india and bangladesh so it is also acting as a tie between this india and bangladesh because this uh, particular is also selling with this bay of bengal also so this is in news ganga vilas cruise it is longest river cruise of the world this is the important thing longest river cruise okay that has been run through this national waterway one okay this was in news how it looks like that like this vilas now coming on this ayushman bharat digital mission one of the scheme that has been launched by this uh, our honorable prime minister so you can see ayushman bharat digital mission crosses landmark of 20 crore digitally linked health cards digitally linked right now i was just seeing the news uh, i think two weeks ago germany has just appraised germany has appraised the digital module of india they have uh, they have praised for this particular uh, you can say upi model the upi model right now you are using paytm or phone pay any upi you are using any app you are using and in different different account it is possible that is possible through the upi mode only okay so easily you can do the transfer so upi so ayushman bharat digital mission has just crossed the landmark of 20 crore digitally health records okay digital link health records that is going to be the fact now this was surprising you can say this was totally surprising i was not even expecting but our girls our females what exactly they have done they are they have just really they have just uh, uh, make us proud you can say okay so india beat england to win inaugural icc under 19 women's t20 world cup under 90 t20 world cup the final winner is india defeated to england from where the cricket has started the england from where the birth place of cricket they have defeated those persons so first time first first title first winner title you can say that is by the indians okay under 19 women t20 world cup second information you need to take care of that south africa it has been conducted in south africa so t20 world cup that is under 19 t20 under 19 t20 women's world cup that was conducted in south africa and it was won by the india so that was a very surprising news you can see it also makes us proud that our females or uh, this indian team that that is going to uh, make us proud you can say then after that for more important news you can say un climate change conference cop conference of parties cop that was in news if you remember i have, when i have just uh, analyzed through the paper when i have just gone through the paper there was a question on cop so cop 28 cop 28 is going to be hosted by this uae united arab emirates dubai uae you can see a very smaller size in a uh, country yes yes there was also involvement of a south girl rajesh is also telling okay so this also makes us proud from down south or from people from south india also have a that is they are majorly playing a role okay yes so you can see in the cop session cop session cop session is going to be very important cop 21 was related to paris climate change what were the provision that we need to control the temperature we need to control so that the temperature could not be increase more than 2 degree celsius okay cop 21 conference of parties so conference of parties 21 was associated with 
Paris climate. Right now, it is having the 28th session of Conference of Parties, COP22, in November, December, that is in UAE. So important information is that COP28, this climate conference that is going to happen in United Arab Emirates. The background image you can see, these type of visuals from United Arab Emirates, a very smaller size in country, a very smaller Emirates. Okay, Emirates. Emirates flights you have heard, very luxury flights they are going to be there. Emirates, very luxurious flight inside the world you can say, very costly and very luxurious. So right now you can see the whole, you can see uh, about this UAE because they are having oil also. But after some time oil is going to be finished. Fossil fuels are going to be finished. So what exactly? They are turning their economy to what? Tourists are going to come. So they are turning their economy from oil-based economy to tourism, tourism-based economy. So they are taking the best destination. They always believe in best, world biggest, world tallest, world, uh, you can say longest, everything, world's, world's famous thing they want that should be in the UAE. So you can imagine their vision, Burj Khalifa. Every biggest thing they want inside this particular Dubai or UAE, you can say, Sarja. So UAE is going to be very important. So COP22 conference that is going to be hosted inside the UAE. So if these type of conferences are going to be hosted by UAE, definitely the country, the people from different, different countries, they are going to come. Our prime minister is going to also visit. So they are also having some branding. So world leader is also doing some branding for this UAE also. Okay. Now one more initiative, Kilo India Youth Game that is also going on from 30th January to 11th Feb 2023. So the important information is Kelo India Youth Game that is going to happen inside the Madhya Pradesh. So right now in Indore Madhya Pradesh, it is going on. Kelo India Youth Game, Madhya Pradesh. But we need to have some more information. What was the motto for this Kelo India program? Okay, Youth Game. National Program for Development of Sports. This is going to be the national. Every minister that is going to support this particular. And right now you can see some, some players are also doing protest. Okay. Like Fogart sisters. You have seen protests also. So Maharashtra led the medal tally with 83 medals, including 28 gold. This is very important. The Khelo India program has been introduced to revive the sports culture in India at the grassroots level. Many more talents that are going to reside in the local village areas. They are going to take out these talents. In a strong framework of all sport played in our country and establish India as a great sporting nation. The following verticals are implemented by Sports Authority of India. SAI, S-A-I, Sports Authority of India is going to be the main body. Grassroots level, they are working on grassroots level, okay. National Program for the Development of Sports, Kilo India. Right now, it is happening in Indore, Madhya Pradesh. Okay, very important. Indore, Madhya Pradesh. Okay, now coming on next news. Grammy Awards. Okay, that was in news. Grammy Awards. Okay. Grammy Awards 2023 are presented by... Wait. Grammy Awards. So, Grammy Awards are presented by the... Recording Academy of the US. In which field? In the field of work on the music, you can say. The awards are presented to recognize the work on music. So is go, who is going to be the best musician or music that is going to be created? They are going to award that. They are going to reward that. Okay. So you, you can see Grammy award is given in the field of music. Okay. Music. The four popular and important categories of Grammy Award winner 2023, best song of the year, just like that, won by the Boney Red. So, best song, they have discussed about that, okay. Then some Indians have also got this award. So, that is going to be more important, okay. Grammy Award, that is associated with this music. One, one of the Indian has received this. So, Indian music composer Ricky Case create history by winning third Grammy Award. Third time he has just won that. So definitely if any Indian has won that, it is going to be a news Grammy award. Okay. So this was the particular person you can say Grammy award. Okay. 
इंडियन म्यूजिक कंपोजर रिकी केस हैज वोन इज थर्ड ग्रामी अवार्ड एट द सिक्स फिफ्थ ग्रामी अवार्ड फॉर दिस ग्लोबली डिवाइन टाइट्स विथ रॉक लेजेंड ओके दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यंगेस्ट पर्सन फ्रॉम इंडिया टू हैव वोन अ ग्रामी अवार्ड ओनली द फोर्थ इंडियन ओके दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन सो रिकी केस थर्ड टाइटल ही हैज वोन ग्रामी अवार्ड दैट इज रिलेटेड टू दैट इज गिवेन फॉर द एक्सेलेंस इन म्यूजिक इंडस्ट्री ओके now coming on the next news now because once i was going through your paper in science portion they have asked a lot of questions on solar system so from that trend i have just catch a trend that on solar system if any current development is happening that is going to be of very important because if you go through the paper of science lot of question have been asked on solar system okay so jupiter became the planet with most moons Jupiter, the biggest you can say, okay, and having large number, uh, biggest number of planet in the sun family. Believe that Saturn had the maximum number of moons. Eighty-two moons have been discovered around for Saturn so far. Okay. On the other hand, it was believed that Jupiter had eighty moons. However, the latest discovery revealed twelve more moons. So number has been increased. So right now, Jupiter becomes. the planet with the most moons okay jupiter that is in the current news so if these type of information are going to be current book is going to be of uh, some old fashion you can say the information in book may be old but right now things have been developed mukhyamantri tirth darshan yojana tirth darshan yojana means pilgrimage you can say so madhya pradesh government has initiated that here i have written madhya pradesh government madhya pradesh so this type of government initiative if in your state any government is is going to i was i was just checking telangana budget has recently passed see i was seeing lot of question they have asked on budget what was the estimated budget what was the expense of indian budget or you can say uh, the budget from your state so budget is very important in your state budget has been already passed please just go through that i'm just going to come up with this some important information but it may take some time so i would request just go for census and budget two things census of india as well as your state budget of india as well as your state there should be a comparison so that is more important if you are going to do budget also if you are going to do census also definitely you are having lead okay so this mukhyamantri tirth darshan yojana has been launched by this madhya pradesh government why it was in the news because the senior citizen will taken on the spiritual tour for free of cost okay that are located outside the city they are here you can see they will be taken to pilgrimage site that are located outside the state one or two pilgrimage site will be visited by them okay the scheme is funded by the government swamp government important mukhyamantri tirth darshan yojana free of cost pilgrimage you can say that has been provided by this particular mp government okay now coming recently just just one hour ago this news i have traced e20 blended fuels india is talking about blended fuels see we, right now we are mostly using petrol and diesel vehicles so we are looking for alternative so right now you can see the market value the cap market cap value of electrical ve electric vehicles are going to be increased it means we are looking for alternatives so right now we are blending we are blending ethanol with what with petrol it means we are shifting towards biofuels and in 2028 2018 eight, 2018 india has launched biofuel policy okay biofuel policy also so india has properly a biofuel policy so if biofuel they are talking about biofuel they are talking about e20 so definitely they can ask the sources of biofuels It's from sugarcane also okay from molasses also these are the sources the the e20 base you can say uh, biofuel based questions i was seeing uh, i was just going through that in civil services they have also asked so during energy india energy week 2023 event right now it is happening in bangalore when i am recording this video 
इंडिया एनर्जी वीक 2023 पीएम मोदी लॉन्च ई ट्वेंटी फ्यूल द फ्यूल इज बीइंग लॉन्च इन 83 लोकेशन इन इंडिया अक्रॉस 11 स्टेट्स एंड यूनियन टेरिटरीज ई ट्वेंटी मींस द फ्यूल हैज 20% इथेनॉल एंड 80% पिलोट मींस अर्लियर प्योरली इट वाज पेट्रोल बट पेट्रोल हैज ब्लेंडेड विद इथेनॉल ओके इथेनॉल 20 मींस 20% इथेनॉल अर्लियर इट वाज ई10 राइट नाउ वी आर इंक्रीजिंग द अमाउंट वी आर इंक्रीजिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ इथेनॉल If you are increasing the amount of petrol, means dependency on petrol it is going to be decreased. So ethanol, it has been uh, prepared from molasses, from sugar cane waste. So definitely it is going to increase the inform of sugar cane farmer also. Like as you can see in the waste UP, Meerut, Saharanpur, these are the district where sugar cane production is going to be high. Sugar bowl, UP, Maharashtra, in UP, Maharashtra, sugar farmers are going to be very high. so definitely it is going to help the farmers also to double their income to increase their income government is saying this type of facts so 20% of ethanol blending what are e20 fuels 20% of ethanol blending with petrol that is e20 okay now coming on next use that is gram awards i have already discussed so these are the key important things i have discussed okay i am just going through one more one more time t13 india's longest escape tunnel you can i have talked about this agni 5 nuclear capable ballistic missiles fifa world cup i have talked about that 18 g20 summit that is hosted by the india eva sangam restoration okay ganga vilas cruise the longest river cruise of the world you can say ayushman bharat digital mission has crosses 20 crores every piece of information is very important see lot of current affair lot of factual things have been there but i have just collected those facts that are associated with exams the possibility where yes india's largest helicopter manufacturing facility yes it is in karnataka right now i think do not worry every news i am going to cover okay every news i am going to cover right now it is happened it was surprising for me under 19 t20 world cup female that has happened in south africa india has defeated england right now so you can see our females are doing better in comparison to male team मेल टीम इज इन्वॉल्व इन ड्रीम इलेवन अभी तू जाके तेरा काम कर ले मैं ड्रीम इलेवन पर टीम बनाता हूं लाइक दिस टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स आर गोइंग ऑन विद द मेल इंडियन क्रिकेट टीम यस वन मोर डेवलपमेंट राजेश इज ऑल्सो सेइंग देयर इज अर्थ क्विक ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट एट इन टर्की सो टर्की एंड सीरिया आर बैडली अफेक्टेड बाई दी अर्थ क्विक यू कैन सी ओके यस रिसेंटली टर्की वॉज इन न्यूज दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे कैन आस्क it was in the news just because of earthquake okay so khelo india youth programs madhya pradesh okay ricky khes has just win the third title grammy award okay jupiter having the uh, that planet having the most uh, you can say moon mukhyamantri tir darshan madhya pradesh government e20 means 20% ethanol and 80% grammy award in the field of music so these were the key information key news that were in the news in this week or you can say in this month okay so this is not going to be the last video but many more videos are going to come okay so why i am just coming with this video so that there could be a shifting in your subject we were just discussing modern history earlier we were dis discussing uh, quality so you may saturate so that's why there should be a change in the rhythm yes so is there any question you can ask important information current affair i have just given you one more important source i have told you press information bureau pib c press information bureau 120% authentic information i am giving you pib press information bureau here you can say it's very important see you can see i have bookmarked also okay bookmark also i all isro missions i have bookmarked technological development in india so isro and drdo are very important that's why i have just bookmarked this isro also okay bookmark so from here also you can just trace the news authentic information they are providing you suppose i want a scheme on pm ujwala yojana pm ujwala yojana next i am going to type pib so on pib they are going to give the information okay 
PIB. If you want authentic information, you can just go through this Pradhan Mantri. But if you want any law has been passed, I will suggest you go for this PRS website. PRS. PRS. Very important website. PRS Legislative Research. Whatever the act, whatever the law that has been passed in India, if you want to know more detail on law as Indian citizen and as a competitive, you can see, just visit this. Acts Parliament, Bills Parliament, Act Parliament. Okay, this type of act. Anti-doping act, your criminal procedure act. Okay, Central Universities Act. Different, different. So UPSC aspirants are following this site, PRS. Here you can see in Gazette of India, it has been notified. If you want to discuss about the DNC Act also, you can just go through this DNC Act already here. The original act that has been passed through the parliament, they are mentioning. So PRS, PRS is going to be the authentic source for any law or bill or act that has been passed. Suppose you want to study about NRC or Citizenship Amendment Bill that was recently in the news also. So you can just search this PRS website. See, these are very standard sources, very high five sources you can see. These are mostly used by the civil services aspirant. But as a drug inspector aspirant, you can just follow this website. These type of information are going to be very authentic. I am telling you the most authentic source inside the India. Okay, from where I am collecting the information, where I am taking the information, I am just giving you. Current GK website also. I have told you, All India Radio News. See, lot of information I have taken from all news on AIR. News on AIR. See, from here, lot of news I have just taken. See, Aishman Bharat Digital. The same scheme I have taken from news on AIR. Okay, here you can see local news, they are also going to give you international news because international uh, affair is going to be there. Okay, international relation is going to be there. Aaron French, Aaron French, you can see just taken from the retirement from international. Australia was the champion, Aaron French. Okay, stock market. Right now, Adani is in the news. That is going to be the political news. Okay, Indian music composer Ricky Case has created his by winning third Grammy Award. This news I have taken from News on AIR. Okay. See, sometimes I used to follow their Twitter, their Twitter also. They have some news based on Twitter also. See, this type of news they are going to, you can just uh, listen their news. It is going to hardly take 15 minutes. But we should have the patience of 15 minutes. Different, different programs. Okay. Twitter live. From Twitter, they are also giving information. You can just check their Twitter also. All India Radio. A lot of information you can get from the Twitter also. Okay. Here, you can see. G20. This type of news you can see. Political news, it was mostly asked in 2012 AP Drug Inspector examination. I was looking through that. Political questions. I don't think that there should be very lot of, uh, you can say, political questions in Drug Inspector-like examination. But I don't know. And other thing what I have observed, they have asked a lot of questions on prescription. On prescription topic, the terminology is related to prescription. They have asked 10 to 15 questions in the same question paper. So from single topic, a lot of questions they are going to ask. If anybody is not prepared, if anybody has taken, the light, taken that topic lightly, he was in loss, totally loss. It was devastating for that particular. Solar system, census-based questions, budget-based questions. These need to be understood. You need to catch the trend. Okay. See, if you want to study for Telangana, you can just go for this website, Telangana, Wikipedia. Wikipedia also on Telangana government state site. Telangana government state site where information is going to be there. Telangana.
telangana dot government dot in state portal important information about telangana if you want to study about this telangana you can just go for this website different different websites okay whatever the scheme has been launched with this whatever the budget has been launched you just need to check up that what is going to be the census what is going to be the political structure inside the telangana these four to five important topics we need to cover with respect to telangana if any person from telangana or andhra pradesh that was in history important personality we need to cover that also that is totally uh, the segment that is associated with telangana specific questions okay so if any telangana specific question you need to cover just go and visit the official website of telangana from these official sites the magazines the book publisher they are taking the information and they are just making the book they are collecting the information so directly you can just go for this source from wikipedia also you can just go for that here you can see founded on 2 june 2014 capital is going to be hyderabad k chandrasekhar rao okay lot of information you can taken from this web uh, wikipedia also i would suggest go for authentic site go for main site okay about about history state symbol award district language and culture every authentic information about telangana i'm just telling you telangana specific questions how you need to cover by this website you can have a faith on this website do not rely more on a uh, roadside book you can say okay just go and cover this one by one open the history open the state profile open uh, how this telangana has been created you need to have a history also what were the famous dynasty uh, dynasty pre history who was going to be the important pre satvahanas satvahana dynasty is going to be very important that's why i have just put down the name satvahana batch satvahanas are going to be very important in the history of andhra okay post satvahana kakatiyas kakatiya university warangal one of the best university inside the india okay asab jahis asab jah have talked about that okay nizamul mulk here you can see asab jah nasir jang muzaffar jang asabuddin daula asab jah this this persons i have talked about first telangana movement 1969 agitation everything they have given that but you people are in very tension that how we are going to cover telangana specific questions here only okay so you are having lot of time you are having lot of time because after class you are having lot of time so one humble request from my side just go and visit the source side by side you need to do effort also okay so what is your effort just go and visit this website and write down important important information okay so you are having if you are going to search this website for 3 to 4 hours lot of is information lot of information about this telangana di you are going to collect okay yes calculation they have also asked gi tax also okay so in this session i have talked about current affair also how you can proceed to important website i have talked about pib and prs these are the authentic sources trust me your mentor is very capable i'm not 100% perfect but trust me every information i'm going to you uh the best i'm giving you from uh, my side you can say okay so telangana specific questions just go and search give some 2 to 3 hours about this telangana website okay every information political information geography is how many districts are going to be there which district is having more literacy which district is having more population which district is having less population census budget who is going to be the larger in size who is going to be the smaller in size which is going to be more developed lot of information is going to be there who was your first governor who was your first chief minister this type of information factual information what is going to be your symbol state state symbol every information they are going to ask the history of this particular telangana is very important how telangana has developed in 2014 all it was under this andhra but andhra was also not there it was also under some you can say some dynasty okay so how andhra has been created and from andhra how it has been created so pre history you need to understand pre satvahana also 
if i'm going to give you some telangana specific questions allow telangana specific material that will be based on this material only because this is the authentic site you can rely 100% on this second source you can you can just wikipedia and britannica okay first you need to give the preference to state website because these are 100% authentic site second wikipedia i do not 100% rely on wikipedia but apart from that you can rely on wikipedia also okay so i think there is no more question so i need to close the session thank you so much i hope this session was fruitful and lot of information you have gained so thank you so much once again